What's up, everybody, and welcome to another Shock and Not Toy Reviews. I'm Wilson, joined by Toast and Michael Myers. Yes, Mr. Berg, thank you for joining us. Let's get into this Marvel Legends. This is uh, Marvel Legends Wave 375 uh, World 4, uh, a.k.a. build a figure Watcher. Actually, I'm sorry, it's World 12,451, a.k.a. Peggy Carter. But the seen in the first episode of the series, right? First yeah. and yes. last Correct. episode of the current, of season one. Yes. Of what if. Of Disney Plus is what if. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Done. Now we got all the keywords. Uh, so yeah, so the first episode, for those of you who haven't seen it, is what if... Uh, Something that doesn't happen in the movie changes to something that doesn't happen in the movie uh, that then thereby causes uh, Captain Carter to become, uh, or, or Peggy Carter, Sharon Carter, who is this, Peggy? Peggy. Peggy. Uh, to become Captain America or Captain Britain. To get the super soldier series. Yes, because Steve is dying. Spoilers. And uh, instead of turning her into a sideshow freak, they made they go, you fucking rock. You're one of a kind. Let's just make you a badass superhero and go kick the snot out of Nazis and everything. And you're awesome and probably still the best episode of the entire run, in my opinion. Yep. And uh, Hasbro made a figure of her. Yep. Here she is. And uh, as usual, we start off with articulation and uh, haircuts. Mm -hmm. Um. So one of the reasons I did not buy most of these guys is because they're cartoonish. Yes, I'll agree. Uh, but after having seen yours, I bought one anyway. Oh, nice. So uh, she has a great likeness to the animation, uh, but because she's not animated, she doesn't have the cell coloring. Right. So. Yes. It doesn't look right, but it does look right. The show is very stylized. Yeah. Um, and the figures from the wave are mostly cartoonish. I think she is maybe the, the easiest to slide into a realistic or even a comic line. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Star-Lord T'Challa is absolutely going to stick out like a sore thumb. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you could probably get Nebula in there. Probably. Maybe Spider-Man... Yeah, Spider Verse. Just throw him at the back. Yeah. Uh, so she has a great paint. Like, look at that. Oh, there we go. Wonderful done paint on her face, uh, and some Hershey Roll hair. Uh, every single one of these that I've seen has this same little error right there, mm. and it drives me nuts. Because now that I've seen it and pointed it out to you, you will see it until you fix it. What what I have a problem with is this line is centered and all of the others are off center. Yeah, that was well, nice. Well, how do you mean? Expand on that. Look look that. look at this line. The red stripe within the white is in, is in the middle. Oh. This one is not. Oh yeah. This one is way off. Oh yes. And that one is off. Oh, they yes. actually shouldn't be centered. So this one is wrong, and the rest are correct. Yeah. Hmm. So there's that. Um, and then yeah, she basically has a anim uh, animated version of the original Captain America movie suit. Uh, the blue they chose for the plastic is almost perfect. I would say. It's very bright. Yeah, I like she, it. She's very bright. Uh, the shield looks great. See, there it, you can see the stripes. The stripes are painted mm -hmm. correctly. Uh, and for those who are asking, not me, uh, she has two of the, the bands on her shield that are brown and not just the solid gray as al almost every other cap shield. Uh, but it doesn't have the plug like all the other cap shields, so she can't plug it in. Oh, wait, she doesn't have the peg hole. Yeah. Well played, Hasbro. Well played. Um, but yeah, and then she's, because she's animated, she doesn't have a ton of paint apps to start off with. And thank God she's not painted to look like 
an anime itself. Yes, mm. right. Because we're missing giant black squares or highlights that make no goddamn sense. So I, I think the boots are kind of plain, and that's, I think, my only complaint. I'm fine with the head as is. So they are plain, but I'm pretty sure you can fix that in post. I can. Unfortunately. Uh, the other thing that bothers me is that you can see that, and that's just a Berg thing, because you can... Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, so, yeah. And, you know, there's a back. You have a little thing there. Uh, so, yeah, and it's, it is it is a... The more I look at it after having played with, I don't know, Shang-Chi, mm -hmm. it is a, a clearly softer sculpt to match the animation style. Oh, yeah. Um... So there you go, yeah. Uh, she has the uh, standard Marvel Legends articulation, nothing different or out of the ordinary. Well, unlike most females, she has double elbows, and she's pinless. Oddly, timely. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you grab any female... Current? Uh, they're pinless. But they don't have triple-jointed elbows. Pinless. Single joint pinless. No pins on the knees, double jointed. So, I think it's an, a wonderful addition. Yeah. Uh, and she stands better than pinless Spider Man. Well, see? <laughs> but yeah, she has all the other ratcheted joints. She's what you'd expect from a Marvel Legend. She is totally what you would expect from an animated style Marvel Legend. Yeah. Um, and she doesn't come with anything extra. Just the shield. Just the shield and her watcher bit. Yeah. So her accessories are the shield. And she comes with the watcher's arm and Other her arm. arm. Oh, that, yeah, both arms, sorry. You can do, you can do it as you can No, do it it's the left. Right. Oh, it's both? It's no. both arms. I don't huh? think we know anyone building watchers, so I don't know what I'm doing with these. No, I don't know anyone. Everybody I know is buying pieces of it. Like, I bought Captain Carter and Sylvie. You just bought Captain Carter. Mm -hmm. Another guy I know is buying Doctor Strange and Spider-Man. Uh, Nobody wants Watcher. I have the Marvel Select Watcher. That who, makes sense. Who's better? Because the only thing I like about the Watcher is his head. It's got a, he's got a decent head sculpt, but it's, it's decent. I agree. But yeah, I have I have a Watcher. I don't need another Watcher. I certainly don't give a crap about Marvel Zombies Cap or T'Challa. She have boots with him. She does not have boot swivel. It looks like. It does, but these are painted. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Um, She's going to have more paint when I'm done. There you go. Uh, and in case anyone wants to know, Captain Walker gives her a finger of approval. <laughs> uh, actually... Captain Walker is here to show that she is a tall lady. So, much like in the cartoon, she grows a foot or so. Yep. And is gigantic compared to her old self, much like Steve Rogers was. Yep. Uh, yeah, so she is for sure a six inch Marvel Legends, cl closer to a seven inch than a five. She fits right in. Yeah, looks great. All right, final thoughts. I'll go ahead and just start. Um, uh, not a huge, not a huge fan of the character. I thought the show was fine. Um, I think the toy gets the job done. It's a solid three and a half out of five for me. Uh, this one's got some paint flaws. Uh, feel bad about 
this being widespread, that's kind of disappointing. Um, but you know what, it is what it is. It's interesting to see the new style and some of the new, uh, new pinless stuff. Um, it's the first I've seen of it. It's be interesting to see how they take it in the future uh, with more of their other lines. See how they use it. Well, yeah, three and a half uh, is good enough. And uh, yeah, gets the job done. Uh, I'm going to give her four out of five. Uh, she, I think she does more than get the, the job done. She actually is a good enough paint and uh, representation of the character that does not look like cartoon enough or car too cartoony T'Challa so I actually bought her. Would you have preferred that they uh, foregone the cartoony look completely and just kind of done a toy of the character? Yes, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, much like these Star Wars Rebels figures mm -hmm. when they made the 3 and 3 quarter inch ones they made them exactly like the show uh -huh. So they don't fit in with your other Star Wars guys. Mm -hmm. But when they made the six-inch ones, yeah. they look like six-inch toys. Right. And I probably, I probably would have built a watcher had they gone that route. Because I really, I totally would have bought Doctor Strange had he not looked like a, a 1990s cartoon gotcha. toy. Uh, so yeah, four out of five. Really happy with her. The only thing I would have liked. Uh, is some Nazis to punch. <laughs> oh, and one more thing while I'm thinking of it. Uh, if you noticed her goofy-ass grip in this hand, giant hand, like why the hell would they pose it? Uh, she can actually hold on to the back of the Hydra Stomper when he comes out. Oh. So, uh, I'm glad if they're only going to give us one hand, they're going to give us one hand that I can do that. And she'll actually hold on and be there. So. Wow, that's cool. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to for that. Yeah, um, there you go. I'm giving Peggy a four. So, um, I pre-ordered her as soon as I realized that she was coming. I was always a fan of the Peggy character, and I thought this design looked badass. Uh, thankfully, her episode was really good, and... Um, I'm happy. The The ankles aren't great, and getting the shield onto her arm is kind of a chore. It would have been nice if she had a peg in her back to store. I, I've always liked the shield on the back look. But as is, I think she's good. She's not great. Just like that. I love it. Four hammers. All right, well, that's been it. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Let us know in comments below what you think. Like and subscribe to the channel, of course. And check us out on the social media stuff, as you can see in the show notes and at the down at the bottom. Show notes are down there. Down there. Thanks for watching, and until next time. Be sure to drink your Ovaltine. <laughs>